Emotional Management Mastery. Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, founder at Pearl Lemon Sales. We're a sales training and development agency based in the UK as well as the USA and serving clients worldwide. And here today in day number 55 of 119 days of cold calling training, we're here to talk about emotional management mastery. But before we get into it, feel free to click the link below to get access to the additional 17 strategies that are not shared in this training. So with emotional management mastery, we're now going to be talking fundamentally, and this, this is probably just, just, just a bit more theoretical than some of the others. We're talking about the management of your emotions, okay? You're going to get flustered, you're going to get nervous, you're going to be going through a range of emotions <coughs> when you're on calls, and the, you know, the classic ones are nerves, okay? And as well as heart flutters when you get an objection or you get someone who's quite rude. I get nerves when I go into a call still at times. I get heart flutters when someone brutally interrupts me or someone hangs up or someone is just rude without cause. And all of these things happen as part of the cold calling experience. It's not that common, actually, that someone hangs up on you. It's not that common that someone's that rude because if it happened continuously on every call, you'd either quit really quick or you become impervious to it and just expect it as, you know, par for the course. But it doesn't happen that often, which is a great thing. But when it does happen, it can throw you off, okay? So in these moments, what's really important is literally the management of your emotions. And when I say management of your emotions, it's about not allowing what, what you feel to interrupt your ability to pitch. So much in the same way when people say, wow, you said you had nerves, Deepak, when you presented. I couldn't tell that you had nerves at all. That's the kind of message that you want to convey where there's a clear division or separation of your emotion from how your presentation is. And that's where there's a distinction that you might feel all of this, all of this, all of this, because a prospect does that, does that, but you are perceived to be straight down the line, okay? cool as a cucumber <coughs> and able to communicate and demonstrate emotions with intention where you need to be like super excited and to talk about it and say, Frank, listen, you've got to hear about this part of the pro project. I'm just like, listen, listen. So what we, you know, as well as being really serious. So Frank, this part of the project, I want you to pay close attention to because I'm confident that this is going to be significant, you know. So can you see, guys, the differences in how I'm communicating my emotions? But then also if someone says to me, Deepak, I'm, Deepak, you know, Deepak, I'm not good enough, I'm not happy, this is just complete rubbish what you're talking about, you would get emotional in that moment as well and saying, Frank, I hear you. I hear you, Frank. I totally can understand why you aren't happy, why you're pissed off. So being able to strike the balance between the display of emotion okay as well as the uh, the inhibit not not inhibiting this i don't even want to use the word suppression but yeah ultimately the display of your emotion and also yeah the the the, the hiding or concealing your your emotions so that fundamentally you appear totally in in control the entire time because that's what's going to, of course, you know, lead to a successful outcome of a call. It's not easy to do, especially when you get thrown, you know, daggers, arrows, shots, criticism, rebukes, rebuttals, um, just, just, just all of the whole gamut of potential negative responses that can throw you. It is something that you need to just simply master through practice, through systematic desensitization, through putting yourself into those positions of of discomfort and practicing on yeah the management of your emotions what's beautiful about cold calling is that you get ample opportunity to do that by just going out and trying again and trying again so cold calling is is amazing for the iterative feedback that it gives you as to what's working what isn't working and through a uh, rough trial and error you can really get on top of you know ultimately how to run calls and to navigate all of this. So irrespective of what a prospect says or what a prospect does not say, that all of the time you're in charge, even if 
underneath all of what's happening, you feel like a kid, a baby, upset, angry, hurt, nervous, worried, you know, continue to feel free to continue to build these lists of emotion. <clears throat> the management of it, again, practical elements, you know, through breathing, of course, like don't holding your breath is something that people sometimes do when they get nervous. Just try and breathe, breathing, you know, breathing slowly through your nose and then out is, and it is another important element and just practicing on not having, uh, just keeping a flat, clear and neutral voice and still being able to you know, modulate your tone depending upon where you want to take the call in spite of how you're feeling is going to be incredible practice. So there you have it guys, emotional management master. Remember, we've got 17 one, seven gated strategies just waiting for you. All you need to do is bing, subscribe, as well as click the link in the description below to get access to those 17. Get some.